It will be obvious to the whole House and indeed the whole world that these events are a grave violation of the Vienna Convention, which states that a host state is required to protect the premises of a diplomatic mission against any intrusion, damage, or disturbance. This is a breach of international responsibilities for which any nation should be ashamed. It is true, of course, that relations between Britain and Iran are difficult, as they are to varying degrees between Iran and many other nations. We publicly differ with Iran over its nuclear program and on human rights, and we make no secret of our views. The idea that the Iranian authorities could not have protected our embassy or that this assault could have taken place without some degree of regime consent is fanciful. Yesterday, I called the Iranian foreign minister to protest in the strongest terms about these events and to demand immediate steps to ensure the safety of our staff and of both embassy compounds. He said that he was sorry for what had happened and that action would be taken in response. The safety of our staff and of other British nationals in Iran is our highest priority. We have now closed the British Embassy in Tehran. We have decided to evacuate all our staff. And as of the last few minutes, the last of our UK-based staff have now left Iran. We will work with friendly countries to ensure that residual British interests are protected and that urgent consular assistance is available to British nationals. We advise against all but essential travel to Iran. The Iranian charge in London is being informed now that we require the immediate closure of the Iranian embassy in London and that all Iranian diplomatic staff must leave the United Kingdom within the next 48 hours. If any country makes it impossible for us to operate on their soil, they cannot expect to have a functioning embassy here.